So today we'll be creating this star particle animation. So it will look like this. It's twinkling the glow, you know, flickering of the glow. So let's get started. First, we will create a new composition. Let's make it HD, 10 seconds long. Yeah, so first we will create a new solid. We'll call it PG background. So let's uh, name it comp. This comp is main comp. We are all the uh, particles and other stuff will be happening. So this is the BG. We will apply a ramp. Let's call it radial ramp and change position. Make it darker like this. Uh, now let's create another solid. This will be particular. Now applied drop code particular. Now as you can see, this is the default particle animation. So whenever you apply trap code particular, this is the default animation that will run. And let's emit from a box. Particles per second would be less for now and let's increase the box size to maybe around 500. Yeah. And directional, no spread. So it's all going in a straight line, there is no spreading. And we need to change the direction like this. And now we will change the position of the emitter. Like this. Uh, it will all fall from above like this. Velocity could be 600, so that the so that this speed up a little bit and fall quickly. Uh, let's increase the randomness of it to be 60 like this so that they don't fall at the same time there's some variation happening and let's go to particle life let's make it 10 seconds you can keep a uh, the life less also and more it all depends on you and let's make the life random to be let's keep it zero for now and so this is happening like this so now what we need to do is we need to change the spheres into stars so let's first save our project I would say let's call it star and now go to the project create a new comp let's make it 100 by 100 and what we need to do we need to go into this is uh, so basically it creates mass but we will be creating a shape with this so we'll click on the star tool and then just double click so now it will create a star automatically but it has created a stroke stroke also on this so we need to disable the stroke and we just need to have fill on this so if the fill is not you can't see the fill happening you need to enable this so but it could be on this but we need to keep on this thing so we get a solid color and now we will align it so that it's in fits in the middle of the screen and go into the opacity press T make it 40 and then alt click on this opacity stopwatch and then you will type in wiggle will turn to so this is how this will so this will be like this now and we need to also well, we need to you know uh, rename it to star also so 
so that I don't forget. So yeah, we need to drag this. Now the star comp is here. Go into the particular and change the particle type from sphere to sprite. And go into the sprite controls. Pick the third star one composition that we just created. Increase the particle size to maybe around 15. It's on you what size you want to keep. I'm just keeping it a bit small for now. Yeah, like this. So the main thing now is to add a trail to these stars. So let's add a system on this. So this is the design over here. So we need to go into the system amateur type and click on amateur from parent system so as you can see now it's emitting there's a trail i'll just click on apply oh it showed me some error but it should be fine here so as you can see if you click on this primary system this is the main emitter this is the trail one this is the trail animation so we will click on the system too and we need to first of all make it go into the emitter primary continuous reduce the particles so it's around 10 or 12 something like that and direction spread so it's spreading like this so we need to reduce the spread to zero yeah so now this is so if you will keep it uniform yeah that would be fine velocity could be zero of these particles yeah so now they are all in straight line so as you can see we have made a basic setup ready we need to have everything zero so that there is no effect of velocity now You can increase or decrease these trails, it's all on you, you can decrease the life also of this, like you can keep it too if you don't want to go on for a long time and have some randomness also on this, yeah like this. So they are not dying, all dying at the same time, there is some variation and we can increase the size also of these trails oh, i will keep it five for now as the stars are also not very big and opacity we can reduce like 50 and keep it random as well like this and then now we can add some color into it so let's add a fill layer and we will add something orangish yeah like this orange gold type of thing yeah 
on now what we what we can do is add a new adjustment player let's add a glue and keep it 60 let's make it 60 and 5 you can see now you will add a little bit of glue add one more copy and this time the radius will be much more higher and the threshold like this and maybe we can reduce the intensity yeah so you can see and yeah the particles are not generating from the very first frame so in order to do that go back to the particular layer and go to the main particle system click on this go down and under the global settings i think yeah under the global controls you can make it 100 so now you can see it's there from the very beginning and they all are glowing and they are all random because of that wiggle thing we have done so you can see and we can add a bit more glow into this so we will create one more adjustment layer will be our star glue this was our glue this was this is our star glue search for star glue this is again a trap code plugin and we can do is we can go for luminance and yeah you can see I will be going for like the default colors I think yeah and we will I'll reduce streak length so if you will play now too much yellow let's keep one of them to be the fire it? Uh, let's reduce the threshold a little bit more you can increase the particle part the star size if you want to make it exactly the same like the ones I have created as I showed you earlier so you can increase the particle size to be around 40 oh, it's 18 for now if you will increase it yeah so now it looks 
bit same like the ones I created and now create a new solid make it this uh, make it red and create a mask and maybe you know, let's add it as a screen and press M, M twice and increase the feather reduce the opacity to be around 15 or maybe less so that it's like this now uh, make a duplicate change the layer solid settings now the color should be I'm keeping it like this and we'll do the same thing here a mask yeah it's on you how you want the shape to be like and keeping it like this So this is how it looks and you can even you know change the color of this this will impact the colors of the layers of the star see how it's making the difference and now you can see but it's adding way too much glow in here so maybe you can reduce it it's all on you now to keep the colors the way you want or maybe you can also decrease the star glow you know, by changing the threshold like this and uh, and you can add one more adjustment layer and then go for looks and drag and drop the looks going to edit And now you can see a lot of colors, you know, whatever suits you, you can just go for that. Oh. So there are a lot of variations. Or maybe if you don't want to go for looks, you can go for Hue Saturation, drag and drop, increase the saturation of this, uh, and you can you know, change it from here, you know, like this. So now the animation on is ready. See the random glow happening. If you want to reduce this random glow, you can go back to the star glow and change it. Change the glowiness of this. Like this, sorry. Opposite way. So that's all folks. Hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching.